As at referee for this match, uh, we'll come to that in just a moment. But we do have Dakan Asalidov from Kazakhstan, 30 years old. He is a silver medalist in the World Championships 2008. But right in the center there at the moment, that's your future father in law, isn't it? Yes, Yapshmal. Yes, yes, he's my <laughs> father in law. He's a great guy and uh, has. Probably the most experienced referee in the world. He is not that he is like my family now, but he is an amazing referee, amazing referee, and he has a lot of experience. And of course, here so many years. You have to say these things now, don't you? Because he is going to be your father. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. No, no, I know him so I'm long. Teasing. So the match is between Darkan Salidov of Kazakhstan, 30 years old. His opposition, Amir. Mensade, the world champion, world champion on two occasions. I know. Current standing in number seventh place. Yeah, I know them both, and they're such a good fighters, both. And they are coming from uh, the Asian Federation, so I think they were fighting in the Asian Championship. Sometime yes, that's ago. right. Yes. But. Mentari has won the Asian Karate Federation gold medal position. He's been there twice, twice world champion, as I say, currently world champion. He was a bronze medalist in 2014, four times Karate One Premier League winner, including Istanbul this year. I had the chance to train with um, Darkan. He is, he is an amazing guy and... Uh, his kicks are very good, I was going to say. That's also <laughs> just from Amir. <laughs> There's a Chuda Mawashi for a two-point score, and he takes the central advantage. So it is Asaldilov who has to claw his way back in. He's got two and a half minutes to do so. I'm pretty sure we're going to see many actions in this fight. Well, he... He, he did lose, he got a bye in the first round, he lost 9 points to 0 in the second round, no, sorry, 9 points to 4 in the second round, but he won 9 points to 0 wow. in his repechage first match, and then he went on to have a 4-0 win and a 7-0 win. So we do know that Asadilov is able to, to score, and Zadi's Scores all the way through, a little less, 2-0, 2-0, 0-0, wow. and a 4-3. But there's another Chudan Mawashi Geri from Amir Menzadi. There's a video review challenge from the coach of Asadilov. Now the coaches can only challenge when they believe that their player have scored. They can't challenge if they don't believe that the opposition's point was actually a good one. So there's some thought about that, Vicky. What do you think of that? That would uh, be something, wouldn't it? If the if the if the coach could challenge the decision of the judges. Yes. I'm not sure that would be the best way forward. Do you? That would be yeah. That would be interesting. Because there are some. I cannot speak about the referees, but but the, there's sometimes that one referee can see something, and the the referee that sits direct opposite can support that's right that they can and do that this can be maybe not yeah, yeah but, the, but you but the, cannot know you cannot i cannot i cannot talk about this because i don't sit there no so. i know it's very it's very difficult uh, and they're all different angles that's yes, why the exactly. the, cam the cameras are important there are there are four cameras one on each corner that the video review panel can look for there's a good zuki though from menzadi Good counter punch yes. as Asadilov was having to try and get back into the match. He's now really trailing with significant score against him. Five points to zero. And of course, Amir Menazadi has the central advantage to go with it. He's uh, destroying his game, I think. His, uh, how he handles it is, is how he has to. He had, but, but there is a lot of time to go. So, and you know, no, no disrespect to Asadilov, but he is up against a double world champion. Yes, with a lot of experience and a huge experience.
And that's what I was talking about before for the time. That now we see 5-0, but there's still one minute to go. Yes. If it was with, uh, with women, it would have been already finished. <laughs> exactly. And with that one minute left, now there are five points, which is a tough call and yes. can be done. Oh, oh it's a fucking good and a Milwaukee attempt. Not sure that it's going to be acceptable. Now, the problem is, the coach has already used that challenge. He yes. can't do it this again. This would have been a point. Yes. He can't make that challenge again. And there has been a couple of uh, changes to the rule in regard to that. Before, if the coach were to make a challenge at the same time that two flags went out because of their enthusiasm, yes. they would lose they their card. They have to wait a little bit. But now that's not the case. If yeah. They, uh, uh, and if they put a challenge in and it was a contact violation, they would have lost their card. But now they would get the card back. So I think that's a good move. Oh, good, Jordan. You should have ordered Mawashi from. He's kind of showboating a little bit now because he's only got five seconds on the board and he's winning this match convincingly with five points to zero. And he takes that bronze medal match back. So, although he lost in his semi-final, he did go on to take the bronze medal. The double world champion, Amir Mendes Adi of Iran. Good finish. Excellent opening. He got that first point, and, that, and as soon as that... He didn't Chudan, expect it, I think. It was Chudan Yoko Gary, actually. It wasn't a Mawashi, was it? Yes. It was Yoko Gary. You don't see this Side technique kick. so often. There's the Chudan Mawashi Gary on that occasion. Well, that was a good attempt yes. there for the Chudan Uramawashi. But no challenge from the...